In this tutorial, we are going to learn how TF IDF works. Let's see. The idea behind TF IDF is it gives low weightage for more frequent words and high weightage for less frequent words. For example, here if you look at the word product which occurred in all three sentences, which means it occurs more frequently. So it should get less weightage. Whereas if you look at these words, good, bad, average, these words occur less frequently, which means these words should get high weightage. This is the idea again, term frequency and inverse document frequency. Let's see how TF IDF achieves this. Let's say we have this sentence. I like this product. Do you like this product? Here, if you look at these three words, like this product, these three words occurred twice in the sentence, which means these three words are very important than other words. So these three words should get high weightage. If a word occurred many times in a sentence, that particular word should get high weightage. That is the idea behind term frequency. Now let's see how to calculate term frequency. So the first step is we have to count how many times each word occurred in the sentence. And the second step is we have to count the total number of words. It is nine in this case. Then simply we can use this term frequency formula, which is nothing but number of occurrence of a word in the sentence divided by total number of words in the sentence. All right, let's apply this formula and do the math. This is the term frequency of this sentence. As we can see, these three words get more weightage than other words. So what basically term frequency does is it gives importance based on the frequency of the word in the sentence. That is why these three words get more importance than other words because these three words occurred twice whereas all other words occurred only once in the sentence. So that is why these three words get more weightage. But we can't consider term frequency alone as the vector representation of this sentence. Why? Because something wrong with this term frequency. Let me show you what is wrong with term frequency. Let's say now we have one more sentence. This product is not good. Let's calculate term frequency of this sentence. This is the term frequency for this particular sentence. Here, if you look at this word product, which occurred in all the two sentences. So this particular word should get less weightage, right? And if you look at the word like, it occurred in only one sentence. So this word should get high weightage. But if you look at the output, these two words get same weightage. It is 0.22. This is not what we are expecting from TF IDF, right? So what we are expecting from TF IDF is the word product should get less weightage because it occurred in all the sentences. Whereas the word like should get more weightage because it occurred in only one sentence. But here it is missing, right? This is where inverse document frequency comes in picture. What it does is it gives low weightage for the word which occurred in all the sentences or in most of the sentences. Let's see how it does it. The formula is total number of sentences divided by number of sentences which consist that particular word. Let me calculate inverse document frequency value for the word product. First, let's take the total number of sentences. It is two in this case and let's divide it by the number of sentences which consist the word product that is also two. So the answer will be one. This is where the magic happens. If we take log of one, it will always be zero. This is how inverse document frequency gives less weightage for the word which occurred in all the sentences. In this case, product occurred in all the sentences. That is why inverse document frequency score for the word product is zero. Now, if you multiply term frequency with inverse document frequency, the TF IDF score will be zero for the word product. This is how term frequency and inverse document frequency works. So first we have to calculate term frequency. Then we need to calculate inverse document frequency. Finally, to get the TF IDF score, we have to multiply term frequency with log of inverse document frequency. Now let's look at an example. Let's say we have these three sentences and we have to convert these three sentences into three vectors using TF IDF. So the first step is we have to take all the unique words and the second step is we have to calculate 
term frequency of each word with respect to all the sentences. Let's take the first word which is the and let's calculate term frequency with respect to first sentence. So number of occurrence of the word the is 1 and the total number of words in the first sentence are 4. So the term frequency value will be 0 0.25. Now we have to calculate inverse document frequency. So the total number of sentences are 3 and number of sentences which consists the word the is 1. So the inverse document frequency value will be 3. Now let's calculate PF IDF score. Simply we have to multiply term frequency with log of inverse document frequency. So the TF IDF score will be 0.11. Let's keep it here. Now let's do the same thing for the word product. So let's calculate term frequency. So number of occurrence of the word product is 1 and the total number of words in the sentence are 4. So term frequency will be 0.25. Now let's calculate inverse document frequency. Total number of sentences are 3 and number of sentences which consist the word product is also 3. Now let's calculate TF idea score. Let's take term frequency and multiply it with log of inverse document frequency. If you see here log of 1 will always be 0 and if you multiply anything with 0 the result will be 0. So TF idea score for product is 0. If we do the same thing for all the remaining words then this will be the final output. That's it. This is how TF idea works. Now let's see what is wrong with TF-IDF. The problem with TF-IDF is it does not preserve the meaning of each word. Simply it gives weightage based on the frequency of each word. So what is wrong with that? For example, if you look at these two words is and good, they are getting equal weightage but they are not at all equal in terms of meaning, right? Then how these two words get equal weightage? Because they occurred equally. But if two words occur equally, it doesn't mean that they are equally important. One might be more important than other one. So what I'm trying to say is the weightage should be based on the meaning of each word, not based on the frequency of each word. Is there any way to give weightage based on the meaning of each word? Yes, that is where word embedding comes in picture. In the next video, we are going to discuss about word embeddings. Alright, first we need to install sklearn library. For that, we can simply use this pip command, pip install sklearn. Here we have three sentences. The product is good, a bad product and an average product. What we are going to do is, we are going to convert these three sentences into three vectors using tfidf method. For that, first we need to install tfidf vectorizer from sklearn library. Let me do that. From sklearn dot future extraction dot text import tf vectorizer. Then I'm going to create an object of this tf idf vectorizer. Object equals to tf idf vectorizer. Then simply we can use this fit transform method to convert text into vectors. Inside this method, we have to feed all the sentences. So let's do that. This will give us an object. So let's convert this object into an array. For that, simply we can use this to array method. This is the vector representation of these three sentences. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this in a variable. Now let's look at the output. Simply we can take this input and we can train any machine learning or deep learning models. And if you want to see all the unique words which are available in these three sentences and their order, simply you can use this function, get future names out. It will give you all the unique words as well as their order. Yes, this is how you can convert text into vectors using tf-idf method.